Ugh. Ugh. That's real oud. No, that's disgusting. Okay. Can you do a spin? <laughs> you haven't done a spin for so long. Woo. It's nice to see you. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Jeremy and this is Lara. And today we're going to do a fragrance video about the best Middle Eastern fragrances. Yes. I told you about it a little bit already. So we have a lot of Middle Eastern fragrance houses right here and I really took my time because sometimes it's not that clear actually is that a Middle Eastern fragrance brand like this one this one is called the house of Oud you said obviously it's from Saudi Arabia or whatever but this one actually is from Italy really it says uh, with a nice bottle San Giuliano Milanese via Priato Cadore <laughs> HIC Milano.com so um and on the other hand, you have fragrances like 24, Sand Story, the new fragrance to the TV series with Jack Bauer. And it's a, a fragrance house from Dubai. So, you know, I didn't know that at first, but Is I did my research. Dubai? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> you will see now fragrances from Saudi Arabia. I'm not going to show you this one, for example, because you obviously know it. Amouache Refraction Man. It's also. Also, good. Oh, it's awesome. You like it, right? Yeah. So this runs out of competition, but since we all know Lara loves Amouache Reflection Man, this runs out of competition. But you like it, right? Uh, I like it a lot. The other ones, you haven't smelled any of these, I know. I at least not so. from me. No. So we're gonna start off with the first one, which is called 24 Go Dark. And you will see many of these scents have somewhat of a similar vibe to already existing fragrances. Not 100% copies, at least at times, but they do share some similarities. So what's about this one? Give us your first impression. It's very aromatic. 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 So that's interesting, I guess. Mix between um, aggressive and somehow. <laughs> so it is. Is it has it a sexy vibe or not? Yeah, definitely. Cool. It has definitely a sexy vibe. Cool. And I like it. I, I think that was. <laughs> that would smell very good on a person, on a man, actually. Yes. Sure. Has all a men's very, fragrances. Um, yeah, sure. not every man's fragrance, but okay. As These are know, all men's fragrances. Yeah, sure, but yeah. I think this is better than some others. Cool. I would Write like it. it. Oh, that's so difficult. Spontaneous. Is it better than a seven? Mm, no. No. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe you would say. 7.5. Okay, 7.5. This has somewhat of a similar vibe to the totally forgotten uh, uh, Dolce Gabbana, the one Gentleman. And this one lasts longer. I really enjoy this one. 24 Go Dark, great run from the house of Sense Story, a 7.5 for you. Yes. Next one is called, uh, you can't read it, but it's called Razazi Havas. Mm -hmm. And you know it. All my viewers from the Middle East, of course, know that I don't speak that language, hmm. but I do my best, guys. And this Havas means, as far as I know, means something like seduction or lust. I think it means lust. Okay, that's Being in the moment, having lust. Okay. So, what do you think? <laughs> it's also very strong. Mm -hmm. mm, I think I like it a little bit more. Than the other one before Interesting. It's a little bit more sweet. Interesting. What do you say? Seductive? Yeah, I don't want to plant a seed no, in your brain. No, but actually, that's no. Maybe you did it, but no. Actually, I think it's very. That's really seductive, a little bit. Cool. Yeah, it has something. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. I like the sweet ones. I guess I just like the sweet. <laughs> of course, just plain fresh is not so sexy, right? I think it's also sexy, but this has something. I think seductive is. Always when you have, yeah, I don't know, but it's just I'm the mix to, between us. I'm it. going to name you two fragrances. You have smelled both, but I don't know if you can't really tell that they are somewhat inside of this one. It has a bit of a Invictus vibe, Invictus Aqua, 
mixed with Chanel Allure Homme Sport or Extreme, or okay. some people say I Edition have Blanche. No idea. Well, I know the and what you mean, but I can't remember this. It's now. a good it's mix. Cool. It has a nice no, aspect. I think I like it a lot. Cool. But so, rating? An eight. A good eight, yeah. An eight point five, definitely. Yeah, it's better. It's good. Eight point five for Havas. Good. Thing. Very good. <laughs> now we come to the next guy. You of course know this brand. This yes. is Jubilation Twenty Five by Amouage. As far as I know, they have celebrated, as far as I know, that the company exists since 25 years. So, what do you think about this one? No, no. I don't like it so much. It has... Um, it's too this citrusy thing in it is too... It's a fruity, resinous yeah. scent. Yeah. It has a lot of resin, harze, very That's, deep. Yeah, the, the harze? Resins. Resins. Like opoponax, it, like this myrrh. This is the thing that reminds me to my grandma. Yeah, or a church maybe, to some people. Yeah, church. That's perfect description. Yeah. It's not very sexy. Maybe it just smells very like old people. Hey, nothing against We love you for your but... honest opinion. We love you for that. Not, nothing for you, just... Alright, yeah, cool. It's not, it's so, so it's nice. more or less a pass for you. Yes. Okay, so that's Jubilation 25. Yeah. Next one, by the house of Montal. They are known for their super hardcore Rose, uh, Rose, Rose Oud <laughs> combinations. The Rose Oud. Yeah, Rose. This one, however, is called Intense Cafe. So what do you think? Mm, this also smells a little bit too creamy for me, too sweet. Actually. Know what you mean? Yeah. And it has nothing very manly. <sighs> no, it's not masculine. It's not seductive at all. So that's also a pass for you. Okay, so that's intense cafe. Now we keep going with the next one. This is by the fragrance house of Armaf. And this one is called, you have no idea which brand is what, right? You've <laughs> never heard any of those brands, right? No. You don't even know what John Varvatos is, I guess. No. <laughs> it's a designer house. Okay, so this is Club de Nuit Intense. What do you think about this? Has it something to do with La Nuit? No, no, no. It's, it has nothing Just to do with Just the same name? Club de Nuit. Yeah, this is definitely better. It has somewhat of... Now I'm talking like you, somewhat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, more sporty, fresh note. Totally agree with you. Yeah. That's very nice. I think this is... You can wear it all day. Cool. Yeah. Very versatile, right? Yes, definitely. Very strong performance for a fresh scent. Mm -hmm. It also smells very strong and like something like... Earthy? Woody? Like some nature yes, say it Now maybe yeah, but like um, a lumberjack, like a Holzfeller. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a very good mix between um, sweet and sporty. Actually, okay. not very, not very fresh, but sporty somehow. I don't know. So I like it a lot. You like? I think it? this is a. Now, when the other one was an eight point five, then this is a nine. <laughs> I have no chance. Please smell this as a competition. Oh, this is so much better. Yeah. Club de Nuit Intense beats Havas. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good. Good. I like this. Okay. Good, good, good. So, we got the next one right here by Al Rehab. Can you say that? Al Rehab. Oh, that was. Uh, you will have some <laughs> Middle Eastern prince right here in front of your door. <laughs> this is quite different. Then the other ones, what do you think about this one? This is called Choco Musk. Oh yeah, it smells like chocolate and vanille. Yeah, Choco Musk. Yeah, this is interesting, but it's not not sexy or seductive. Not sexy. Or, no, it not smells manly. edible, you say? Edible, like almost dessert, chocolatey? Yeah. But no, 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 no. No. No, no. no I wouldn't be attracting to a man who's wearing this here. Okay. This could also be, in my opinion, a female fragrance, right? 
so delicate. No. Only for men? Don't yeah, but I would, I would tell the men, just don't wear it anymore. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. Sure, so that's uh, chocolate-based fragrance. Chocolate-based fragrances in general, as weird as it sounds, you might think, ooh, I smell like chocolate, she wants to eat me. <laughs> don't work so good. Also, Montal obviously has chocolate greedy. It's also not, uh, I don't suggest it to you. The only chocolate fragrance, let's say chocolate fragrance is pure malt, which also has fruits and malt, so whiskey added. But generally, chocolate is not so easy to pull off. Okay, and the last one, this one is called Oud 36 by Al Haram. Say it again. Oud. <laughs> it's so silly. Watch out, it's strong. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, same thing with that one. I'm so sorry. I think it's I'm too not resonant, the, yeah. yeah, I think I'm not the best nose for no, it's uh, fine. oriental it's uh, fine. fragrances. It's fine, you represent a big crowd of people. Resins are <laughs> hard to pull off, oud is even harder to pull off, and this one is already so hardcore tamed. Guys, tamed. tamed means uh, sozusagen schwächer gemacht. Really? Now I'm going to show you the most hardcore oud fragrance that I have, okay. just as a benchmark, uh, we're gonna end this video with that. Uh, this is oud is the second most expensive fragrance oil we have, thirty thousand euros and more for one Isn't liter. Isn't that wood? Wood. Yes. Okay. So this is Dusitas. Give it a <laughs> give it a nice shot. I <laughs> just have to give it a nice shot. Ugh. Ugh. That's real oud. No, that's disgusting. It just smells like. Like? Like wood, but like, ugh. <laughs> That's real wood. No. Okay, now, so, now I, I just, uh, I um, remember when I was talking about Roma, Roma, this from, from Laura Biagiotti, and this is exactly the smell I don't like, which okay. re always reminds me of my grandma, because she's wearing Roma. <laughs> Roma, <laughs> yes. grandma is wearing Roma. Yes. No, okay. no, no, this is not nice. So, back to this one. This is your champion, I guess. Oh, now it smells even better. It's so nice. It's so sexy. You know how this one smells? This yes. is... I, no, don't tell me, please. Everybody knows it. I know exactly the smell of this. You know, right? But I, I wish I could remember a fragrance. <laughs> I think maybe it smells like... Okay, I... Can you close your eyes, please? Yes. Please close your yes, eyes. Yes, I'm closing it. Okay, so I'm going to let you <laughs> touch a bottle. Please let them closed. And tell me if you can say... Carolina Herrera? No. Um, no. <laughs> Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. I, I don't know. I just know the... Yeah, wait. It smells like Creed Aventus. Oh, it smells not exactly like that one, but... So, so... Similar. Similar. I agree. No, this is so good. Katrina. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks a lot, Lara, again. See you next time with another video. <laughs>